What brought me to the United States with my family? Uh, I have two younger brothers, and um, my dad uh, got an opportunity to move here. We were going back and forth about leaving the country, staying there. Everyone was like, um, their first reaction was like, "I oh, guess crazy, you know." You have, you know, you have like a car, house, blah, 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 here. Why would you leave all of this and then move to another country? It's a mistake, blah, blah, blah. But for the sake of me and my brothers, for a better education, better life standards, just a better life, we decided to move here. After a year, year passes by and then we go back to Turkey during summer and everyone was like, everyone was like, how can we do the same? I would say language was one of my biggest challenges when I first moved here. I moved here in 2019 October and then COVID uh, came up. We had to go back to online and that was a big challenge for me as I wasn't able to learn the language efficiently. But what I did was I created a club and I was able to meet with people and it is actually called Turkish Club. I was actually teaching my friends about Turkish culture, Turkish food, Turkish language because I realized that there was a lot of misinformation going around about Turkish people so I was like let's fix this and then we start doing um, community events we did beach cleanup, San Diego food bank we helped kids with cancer so I was trying to be active in the community during the COVID to be able to both be social and then improve my English when I came here I was hungry, I was like hungry to take advantage of these opportunities. For example, there is an airport 15 minutes away from my house. I decided to get my private pilot license. And I started this last year, still in progress, I'm still a student private pilot. I have 70 hours of flight time. That was comparing to my home country. The closest airport to my house was like two to three hours away. There was a sailing club in the high school. I never sailed before. That was a different experience. In Turkey, you don't even have school clubs. This was an opportunity. I took advantage of it. I was already playing piano in Turkey since I was seven. When I came to here, I started learning um, blues and boogie woogie, which is also really hard to, it's really hard to find a um, teacher in Turkey who actually teaches blues and boogie woogie. And then other um, hobbies. Uh, oh, cars. I did food delivery for two years. It was during COVID, no one wanted to go out, but everyone was ordering food. So there was low competition and then high tips. I took advantage of that, I started working and then I was able to make enough money to buy my car with my own money. So that was a big step in Turkey. It is impossible, nearly impossible to um, work and then buy your own car at 18 because of the financial economic situations in Turkey, you know. Also, another hobby I got was uh, when I came here, I realized everyone was like so in shape, everyone was uh, you know, jacked and stuff. So I started going to the gym with a friend, with my gym bro. Uh, and then I, right now, I'm going to gym five days a week for the past five months consistently. Uh, never skipped a day. Even though I, when I went to Hawaii, I was still working out with that, you know. I like lifting heavy things around. I like seeing the uh, improvements on my body. I like achieving things and when I want when I want to do something, I want to get that thing done. When I want to when I say, you know, I want to do this, I actually take the step and start doing it rather than just like being like I want to do this but I'll do it on another day. No, you have to start now to be able to do that thing. I see myself staying in the United States as this place's land of opportunities. If you want to start a business, California is like the dream state. Everyone wants to come here. Um, maybe when I retire, I might go back to Turkey to spend my United States dollars to spend to you know live that you know, life. But 
I want to say in the United States. The biggest lesson I learned in the United States is that a lot of opportunities out there waiting for you to pick up, but it's up to you if you want to pick up those opportunities. Back in Turkey, you had to create your own opportunities. Well, and it was really challenging to create those opportunities. Like maybe 1% was able to achieve it. Here, you have a high chance of actually achieving something if you actually, if you actually work hard. <laughs>